All right, my friends, so let's get started with our Jeff Koons inspired balloon dogs. So you need a big sheet of paper. You choose the color. You need a stencil. This is just an oval. And you need a pencil. And what I want to do is to trace this oval on my page seven times. It should fit. You want to start right up against the edge of your paper. And I'm going to use my helper hand to keep this in place, okay? And I'm going to be very gentle with my pencil. I'm not pressing too hard. You can see if I press really hard, I can move my stencil, right? I don't want to do that. Be gentle. And if it doesn't come out perfect, it's not a big deal. My next one, it doesn't need to touch it, but it does need to be really, really close. If I'm going to fit seven on here, there cannot be a lot of space in between my ovals. So I'm going to do this all the way down the paper until I get seven of these. So let's fast forward through that and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now I have seven ovals on my page. And the next step is just to trace these with a nice thick black line. So you can use a black marker, you can use a black crayon, but let's trace these with a nice thick line. I'll fast forward through that and I'll meet you back in a second. Okay, so I used my black marker to do my tracing. Um, you may have used a crayon, whatever works. And now what you're going to do is you're going to find a crayon that is a darker color than your paper. Um, if you have a darker red, cool. If you don't, you know, you could just use a black. Um, I think I'm going to use this raspberry color, right? So if I was doing um, yellow paper, I might want to find a darker yellow, like dandelion, or maybe I could even do orange, just something a little bit darker. If I was doing green paper, I would find a dark green. If I was doing purple paper, I would find a dark purple. You get the idea. And what I'm going to do with this crayon is I am going to color um, basically just like an oval shape on the left side. It doesn't The side doesn't matter, but I'm going to pick one side and I'm going to stick with it. Uh, the left side of each of these, I'm going to do this tall oval shape and I'm going to color it in really hard. Okay. Obviously, you don't want to break your crayon, but you want to do some nice coloring. That's enough. Okay, I'm going to do that over and over and over and over to all seven of these. So we can fast forward through Mr. Poulos, drawing and coloring in these ovals. There we go. So now I have seven oval shapes with a darker color on all of them. So your next step is going to be to take a white crayon and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to grab my white crayon and I'm going to do that and I'll see you in a second. My crayon broke here, but that's okay. Broken crayon still works. Mr. Poulos was just pressing too hard. And there we go, seven ovals with seven spots of dark color on one side and seven spots of white on the other. And once you've got this, what I want you to do is one more bit of color, or one more uh, shape, sorry. We're going to do, once you've gotten here, I want to do one more shape. Just pick a spot in here and make a little triangle and pick another spot in here and make another little triangle. And we're going to treat those the same way. So a little bit of color on one side and a little bit of white on the other. These are going to be the ends of our balloon. Okay. Now we need to do some cutting. Take your time. Do your best work. I'm going to cut this and I'll see you all in a minute. And there we have my seven pieces plus 
my two little triangles here. And what we're going to do now is assemble our balloon dogs. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to put the rest to the side. I'm going to pick one. And I want the white part to be away from me. I want this to be the top of the dog. Um, that'll make it look like the sun or the lights are shining down on it. And this is going to be the body of my dog. So from here, everything's going to stick out. So what I want to do next is get my glue stick and put a little bit of glue on the back here. This is going to be the back leg. And I want that white facing kind of like whatever, whatever is closest to facing up. So white down here wouldn't make sense because this is where the shadow is going to be. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. That's going to be the leg in the front. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. That is going to be the neck of our dog. The white's facing up. And I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. This is going to be the tail sticking up. And you might say, Mr. Poulos, this doesn't look like a dog. And you would be right. This does not look like a dog yet. All right. So next what I'm going to do is um, add the ear. So up here, add some glue. That's going to be our dog's ear. And then on top of these guys, a little more glue. And that's going to be my dog's face. Looking good so far. Um, this is what his balloon animals really did look like. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit for you. And the last thing we need to do is to glue on our little triangle shapes. So on the one corner, the back of my triangle is going to get some glue and stick that on uh, there. And same thing on this side. And I'm going to stick that on there so it looks like the ends, the two ends of the balloon. And there you have it, your balloon animal. Now, whenever you glue any of this, you want to make sure that you've pressed down nice and hard. And you want to give this a little bit of time um, before you're rough with it at all. But I think they look really cool. So hopefully yours came out awesome. I think this looks pretty awesome. I will see you guys next time. Bye.